Are you a small business owner? Well, then you probably already know that summer can be a difficult time to keep up the momentum. I spoke with an expert with some great tips and the latest and some very useful technology. Well, summers can offer unique challenges to small business owners because everybody seems to be working shorter days, taking a vacation, or simply not ready to shift gears from browsing to buying. Melinda Emerson, best-selling author of Become Your Own Boss in 12 Months, joins us now to share some tips for keeping a small business thriving in the dog days of summer. Melinda, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you, Heather, for having me. So I'm so glad you're here with us this morning to share with our small business owners some tips on how to keep the momentum up during the summer. Well, the first thing I want them to do is rev up their marketing. Just because everybody else is working shorter days, you don't have that option as a small business owner. So I want you to send out an email blast or do a direct mail piece to your prospects so that you remind them that you're in business. And then I want you to do something special for your existing customers. Do a pop-up sale or send out a gift card inviting them for a little bit off on their next purchase. You just want to keep your business top of mind as we're going into the summer months. Well, I love that because that really sets those small businesses apart from the others that are kind of accepting that summer is just a slower time. So that's some great advice. Now, what about our viewers that are watching that maybe are interested in starting their own small business? Do you have any tips on ensuring their road to success? Oh, absolutely. In my book, Become Your Own Boss in 12 Months, I actually lay out what I call the Emerson Planning System to transition from employee to entrepreneur. So step one in the Emerson Planning System is developing your life plan. I want you to figure out what you want and why you want it so that you start a business that aligns with that. The second thing I want you to do is figure out how you're going to pay for it because banks do not loan money to start up businesses. I want you to figure out where the money's going to come from because most likely it's out of your right or your left pocket. And then the third thing I want you to do is evaluate your business idea based upon what skills you have and what skills you need to run your particular kind of business. I don't want you to start a restaurant because you like to eat. I want you to start a restaurant because you know something about running a restaurant, right? And then I want you to figure out who is your niche target customer because if everybody can use your product or service, no one will. People want to hire specialists. And then I also want you to write a business plan. Don't spend more time planning your vacation than you do how you're going to figure out how you're going to support yourself and your family financially. And then I want you to launch while working. It takes 12 to 18 months for a small business break even, let alone replace your corporate salary. Ooh, and Melinda, I think it, we see it time and time again where small businesses open up and within the first year or two, you know, they, they didn't make it and, and they've They're gone, gone away. So yeah. what would you say is the biggest mistake that a new small business owner makes? Biggest mistake small business owners make is poor financial management. And really, that's part of the reason why I've partnered with Visa Small Business, because they've got some great products to help small business owners save time and track their spending. What we want small business owners to do is use their debit card or credit cards to make payments for their business. So you can streamline your bookkeeping and use online reporting. So we want people to write their last check ever. So if they go to visa.com slash last check ever, they can get all the information about the products and tools Visa's offering small businesses. Well, and of course, we are calling this the chip technology. And how are you really seeing this affect all those small businesses out there? It's really just making your debit and credit card purchases more secure. It's really reducing fraud. That's, that's really what it's all about. It's the best thing that happened to electronic payments really ever. Well, Melinda, this is great news for small business owners, definitely. One more time before I let you go, where can we go for more information? If you want more information from me, I'm the Small Biz Lady on Facebook and Twitter, or you can go to my website, succeedasyourownboss.com, or you can go to visa.com slash last check ever. Excellent. Melinda, thank you so much for talking with us this morning. Thank you, Heather. And don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more after the break. <laughs>